we as citizens keep certain things for ourselves. We retain for ourselves the right to choose a religion for ourselves. We retain as, our, as citizens the right to speak freely, freedom of speech. The minister was supposed to examine uh, a bill in order to ascertain whether any provision of it was inconsistent with the Bill of Rights or the Charter. They decided that they would only uh, ask or, or advise the minister to make a report to the House of Commons if there was no argument that could be made in favour of uh, the Charter com compliance or consistency of a bill. I continued over the years to raise my concerns. Nothing happened. Uh, there was no change to the policy, uh, there was just nothing. They chose to continue with this, what I consider bizarre, actually, interpretation of these provisions. I reached the conclusion eventually that the appropriate thing for me to do was to ask the federal court to rule. I filed it and served it on the Deputy Minister of Justice on Friday, December 14th, and on Saturday, December 15th in the morning, I received a call from my immediate supervisor at home saying that I ought not to return to work on Monday. I would not be, uh, uh, I, I was suspended without pay. The, the result is that parliamentarians are aware of what the Minister of Justice is doing, and some of them are clearly not content with what is happening. If someone were convicted of an offence that actually is not compliant with the Charter, they could end up uh, paying a fine or being imprisoned or punished in some way by the law for something that they ought not to be punished for. It's a long road and when I think about it, I first raised the issue back in 2002. So we're now 11 years later and if we add another five or six years to that, it's a 20-year slog to try and get this one question resolved.